Okay, I'm here with impatient Estrid. I've just given a good groove, it's made me very sneezy. Um, today, we've got expert bits coming out. So, I think all the way back in June last year. <laughs> oh dear, I told you I was sneezy. Yeah, all the way back in June last year when I started backing Estrid, I knew that the bit that I have for her is too big, but the smaller one, because I have a hanging cheek Myla Comfort Snaffle, was like, hitting the side like rubbing the side of her face so it was the, the right size for her mouth wasn't the right size for her cheeks so we've got expert bits coming out who i actually saw i, I sound like a proper fangirl of elphic event ponies maybe i am um i saw an elphic event ponies that she had them bitting out and it had the same kind of design as a myla bit which i have ridden in since the dawn of time um because they're so nice they don't they can't like um, close around the tongue, their sides move individually like I really like them. So I thought rather than me trying lots of different bits, spending lots of money, I would just get an expert in to have a look at her mouth, explain what her mouth is, because I think her mouth is quite small really, um, and to choose a bit for me and we'll, we'll go with that. Um, it's nice sometimes to get other people's opinions and experts in and, you know, see whether what I think is correct and have a bit of validation. Um, so let me show you the bit that she's in normally now. Oh, you've made me so sneezy. This is the bit that she's in now, this is the Myla. So you can see like if you pull it, it can't close. Like some bits turn into like a nutcracker and it can move individually and it's just a really nice bit. I really enjoy them. I've got it all tangled. How did I manage that? Go me. Um, yeah, I really enjoy them. They're really good. I've had various different ones, so I've used like the Myla, um, what are they called, the combination that has nose pressure, they're really nice because they are more like a bitless bit, but with a bit as a backup, so they're designed that the first bit of pressure only goes on the nose, and then as soon as you go past a certain point, this little part of the bit on the ring kicks in, and then you get mouth pressure, they're really nice as well, and something I probably would consider for her um, later down the line. We'll see, we'll see how she goes. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to see what they say, to see how she goes, to see whether we end up with a new bit, hey? What's going on here? Are you excited for a new bit? Yeah? Not really? <laughs> right, hi, I'm Lisa from Expert Bits. Uh, we've come today to have a look to do, I know, to mainly do a, uh, Oh, I'll get trampled on. To mainly do <laughs> not. <laughs> not. To mainly do a bit check. We've already had a look at the bit you're currently riding in. Yeah. Uh, and it is a, a good bit for Arabs. The Milo bits are a good bit for uh, the typical palette that an Arab would have. Uh, but we're going to have a look, see if there's anything we can improve. Calm down, please. <laughs> She's like, no, no, no. So what we're going to do is we've already discussed the when you last saw a dentist, yeah. what they'd found, have you had any wolf teeth removed, which is always a really good place to start. You know, we need to know where they are. Have they seen the physio? Have they seen the chiro? Are they fully up to date with everything? Because then if there is another issue going on that we know about it before we actually start the bitting process. Uh, we're going to have an examination if she lets me have her mouth in a moment. <laughs> we might, take we might turn the key. Yeah. She might be a little bit better, we'll see. Yeah. Can we behave? Uh, we're going to have a feel of the pole and have the T and J area. So I think we'll give her a minute to calm down and we'll take her outside and give this a go. Yeah, I think so. You're so sassy. <laughs> You're so sassy. Just keeping things interesting. Hey, 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 uh, hey. Good girl. Right. So we'll have a good look around the mouth. That's enough. She's fleshy, but a tongue, can you see, actually isn't very big. Yeah. A tongue isn't big. So if you're like looking at a cob mouth, you'd expect a typical cob mouth. You'd expect to see, you know, a big fleshy tongue, sometimes even poking through the teeth. Yeah. I'll be honest, my cob doesn't have a mouth like that. <laughs> he's got a really little tongue. Aww. But because there's always exceptions to the rule. Yeah. But Arab wise, yeah, she's got, she's quite think, fleshy there. I thought she had a low palate, but obviously I don't really yeah, know. Yeah, she has got a low palate. Can you see? Yeah. There, and if I feel it, just be prepared. She might not like this. We just press gently, because we don't. Stop <laughs> we would it. like to press gently. Yeah, she's got a really hard, it is hard, good girl. Yeah. I wish you could feel it. Do you want to have a feel if I hold this? Yeah. Right. 
I am no filmer, by the way, That's so... That's right. You can't really go wrong with a GoPro. Come on, you're painting me in a very bad light, Esther, is being so naughty. Yeah. Yeah, so can you feel how hard it is? Uh -huh. Can you feel where the bit would sit? That's the correct place to... God, I'm much happier this side of the camera. Yeah, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, that's the correct place to feel where the bit would sit and where the action of the bit, when you take up the reins, would take contact with the palette. Yeah, So okay. that's where we feel that bit. And yeah. she has got a, uh, it's a low, hard palette, definitely. So we've managed to tack up this demon horse. Hey, why so sassy today? Um, and she's just going to watch us in the school now. I did say that Estrid hasn't really done much schooling. Um, and we, we haven't really done any schooling, actually. We've done the learn how to walk, turn, stop. But in terms of actual nice, pretty schooling, we're not there yet. That's uh, 2023 autumn's task. So they're not really looking at me to do dressage moves, but just to see how she goes in the bit, how it fits and how she responds. So we'll see what they say. Let's get on. Yeah, it is too big. It's, it's too and much. And is it like... It just needs a bit snug. Anything fixed, like a hanging cheek, like a full yeah. cheek, like an egg rock. Needs uh, uh, uh. To, no good girl. Needs to fit snug. That's uh, what she does. Do you know how she's chewing? Yeah. Like that that, that seems to be frustration as yeah, well. Yeah, uh -huh. She wants... She's got a job to do. She's been quiet oh, already. Dear. She wants to get going. She knows what her job is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, what we'll do first of all, we'll Get see you off. warm her up. Yeah. Uh, is how we always start. Yeah. We always need to see you going the current bit because we can't make assumptions of how she's going to go yeah. because, like people, we don't Everything always follow different. rules. Things change. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to hop on, yeah. then we'll see you uh, walk and trot <laughs> and canter. She's like, no, not so. We, we got, we, we've done a little bit already. What we're looking for, I want to see how she is in the walk with the bit, how she is in trot, what she's doing with her head, what she's doing with her mouth. And it is transitions are quite interesting as well of how she's actually reacting in transition. What is she doing with her head? What is she doing with her neck? Uh, what is she doing with the body? What's with her mouth as well? She is, she's sort of up and down as you can see, as though the, because the hanging cheek is completely still in the mouth. The weight of the bit is held up by the cheek pieces. And it's as though she's fighting that stillness. I am wondering what she'd like with some movement in her mouth. This bit does have a part in it as well. And as though it, it is the right mouthpiece for her, I don't think she needs the part. Her tongue isn't very big. Does she ever feel strong in the contact or in the hand? I wouldn't say strong, but she's definitely not accepting any contact. No, does she lean sometimes on Og as well? Yes. So the barrel is a perfect mouthpiece for a horse who has a low palate. Complete fixes. There's nothing to go up. Yeah. Like a traditional lozenge or French link, when we ask them to move, yeah. and it's like hard metal and hard bone. Yeah. And you can understand why that wouldn't yeah, work. Wouldn't yeah, you'd be like, if someone did that to you, I was like, ah, ah. <laughs> and that's why we see them going around, like, around like that. So, let's, but the yard has the part. This doesn't. Chill. Her tongue isn't that big, so I don't think she needs the part. But I'm not saying this is right, I'm saying. I don't want to change too much at once. Yeah. So. And um, this is what I was hoping for, that it would be your hanging cheek right, okay. that you went for. <laughs> but I'm not saying she's going to go into. I'm not expecting. No, a hanging cheek. Let's see what we can get uh, 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 from here. This is too high up. So this is too high up in the mouth. So yeah. we need to go down. Down one. one. You see, the only issue I have with these, they've got really big holes. Yeah, we can add holes though. We can add holes, that's perfect. We might have to add a hole. A hole, you think? We clipped the outside, do we? Yeah, there yet? we go. Perfect. Good girl. Yeah, so if you see already. It's, it's a really much better. better fit. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's much, much better less fit. Less hanging. Yeah, and also we've got plenty of room, so yeah. we need to make sure there's nothing going to rub here. Yeah. Well, easy to see, I'd get my fingers in yeah. there. So, this is in our comfort barrel hanging cheek. Uh, it doesn't have a part to it at all. Uh, she does look a lot happier, but you know, we do have other bits to try as well. But she's looking, she's not messing with her head. She's actually dropped. She has dropped. She yeah. looks much more settled. Interestingly, as a breed, we know Arabs like stillness. Yeah. So it's a, it's a breed trait they have. And they generally go really well in egg butts. So we are going to try her in an egg butt as well. But that is a, a thing about the breed. Now we've tilted our head again, so I do think we do need to try something different. But, but it's, much, like, it's, it's less aggressive. Much, less grindy in the yeah. mouth. It's like it's just playing rather than. <laughs> Hello. 
Hello, she's well she's showing us some moves today. Bits. So we clean everything with this. in the back. <laughs> so this is the Comfortable Egg Boat. We've actually gone with a Bradoon uh, cheek at the minute uh, and we've seen what she thinks to it. She's never had a egg butt in her mouth before has she? No. She's also... That's, that's the, the bit that she had in, that's the only bit she's ever had in. Right, so again we've got, so she can feel the weight of the bit on her tongue here. It's yeah. still still but she can feel the weight of the bit on her tongue. Yeah. And I think that's what she's finding a little bit strange at this moment in time. Yeah. But we're gonna and give her a whether like over the distance and time of an endurance ride, whether she's like that or not. Can they get used to it? Yeah, and it, as a whole, Arabs do like uh, and they like stillness, but they generally do like an egg butt as well. Yeah. That's something we know from a breed. Yeah. And she actually is settling into that really nicely to start yeah. with. You could see, I don't think we videoed the bit, but she was really like, ooh, what is this? What is this? There, there, there. Yeah, Lena, yeah, exactly. It's a really good example of what she was like. But she actually now looks to be settling really nicely into yeah. it. Does she? She's not arguing with you at all about it. Whereas with the, with the hanging cheeks, she was arguing slightly more than the what. More I gave yes. Her. So now, like, even when I give her a bit. She's not arguing, she's not throwing her head to one side now. No. A little bit there. You've got to remember, this is all new to her, and she doesn't come in the school that often either. No. Uh, this is very much the start of her journey, isn't it? Yeah. So that's why it's important we get it right now at the start of her journey. So then we don't not try to undo things that aren't right later on. That was a nice transition though. It was nice though. There. I said, but she has been extra sassy today. I, I mean excessive. I gave her four out of ten for behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the come for our loose ring. Uh, we thought it would have too much movement because the loose ring she's got to think about what Beth's asking to do, where to put her legs, but also where to put the bit in her mouth where it's most comfortable. You know, Beth's taking her education quite slowly. This is just the start of her schooling, really. Uh, and yeah, it's, she's, it's too much. She's like, <laughs> what do you want me to do? So where do you want me to put my legs? Where do you want me to put my tongue? What do you actually want me to do? We're asking too much. So at the minute, I, I think, do you agree, Beth, the egg butt was probably the best at the moment? Beth, do you agree the egg butt was probably the best? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Right, let's stop that, shall we? Let's take this one out of her. I've just turned Estri back out because she was being ridiculous in the stable, weren't you? I give her a four out of 10 for behavior. That is not how she's been brought up. She's very sassy in the school, just very spicy in general. Sometimes she has days like this when like just nothing will settle her. She, she paws, she fidgets, her nose is in the air and she's just not responsive. And I guess humans have days like that too. Hello, Wiz. Um, and when she's like that, it's so frustrating. But at the moment, there's nothing really you can do apart from carry on, ignore it, or completely change your plans. But anyway, <laughs> we still managed to get the bitting consultation done um, as much as possible. So thank you very much to Expert Bits. Lisa, you were angelic with her considering how annoying she was being. And we've gone for, so both of these are half an inch smaller than she had, so I was right, it was too big. But also the bit I did have had a slight port in it, and she's got a very, very small mouth, and she didn't, and like quite a small tongue, so she didn't need the port. So I've got a hanging cheek to try, and I've also got an egg butt to try, with the teeny tiniest little rings. Um, apparently this is actually designed to go on a double bridle, but the normal size rings look massive on her, this is such a light little bit and look how small they are, <laughs> so cute. Um, so I bought both so that I can give both a good go because it was unclear um, whether she preferred one or the other because she was being so sassy. The school isn't her normal environment so I'm going to spend a week hacking in each and see which one if either she prefers. I think she was definitely quieter in the mouth without the port, I could feel that but she was just 
not not the best behavior for testing new things with so i'll try a week on each and then i'll decide which one we prefer so thank you very much to them i'm so sorry about sniffing all the time i'm allergic to horses and every time i just my nose is going and i've run out of loretazine i tell you um but anyway thank you very very much i will keep you updated on which i prefer um probably in a few weeks once i've given both a good go and you'll probably be able to tell because whatever she competes in next will be my preferred bit but yeah four out of ten for estrid but ten out of ten for expert bits i really enjoyed it i learned quite a lot as well oh i'm so sniffly uh, i'm so sorry yeah i learnt loads really starting to like understand the mouth of my own horse and why these bits were chosen and why different bits would suit her and some wouldn't i'm actually really looking forward to autumn this year to start schooling her properly get her moving better get her listening um and starting to really strengthen her up i don't tend to school until later like proper schooling until later in their career until they're strong enough um so that will hopefully be this autumn's task but hopefully i will have the right bit by then so yeah Thank <laughs> you.